guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be feeding all of my animals I currently have five pets and yeah let's get right into the video okay so I'm gonna be starting with my leopard gecko toast that I got a couple weeks ago and he likes to eat in the middle of the day usually from like 11 to 4 he's hiding under his warm hide right now but he usually eats the best when I feed him around this time which is a bit odd but it just means that he was probably fed around this time at the store I got him from um, so yeah. So these are all of my leopard geckos feeders, except for I have some wax worms for him in my downstairs refrigerator that I feed him once a week at most, but I haven't fed him any for this week and I don't plan on doing it today. Um, but he has mealworms, uh, superworms, and dubia roaches. I feed him mainly mealworms right now because that's what he was previously on and he eats the most of these. So after I feed Toast, I'm going to show you guys how I gut load the feeders that I feed him. Basically, gut loading is the process of feeding your insect feeders uh, fruits and vegetables that are nutritious to your gecko, but your gecko should never be fed fruit and vegetables. They should be fed insects that ate fruit and vegetables and process it for them because uh, leopard geckos are insectivores and they can only eat live insects. Um, but if you don't gut load your feeder insects, then your feeder insects have very little nutritional value and it's just so easy to do. You literally just put vegetables and fruits. There's specific ones. I can put a chart on the screen and the specific ones have higher nutritional value to your gecko and you just feed them to your insects 24 hours all the time if you want or you can do a specific schedule. I just constantly refresh their vegetables and fruit. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that after I feed toast. So I just use a Ziploc baggie with some calcium with no D3 to dust all my insects in. On weekdays, I give him insects dusted in calcium with no D3, and on weekends, I give him vitamins and minerals dusted insects. Okay, so I just finished dusting them in calcium and I sprinkled some on top because it kind of falls off quickly. I just make sure I know how many mealworms are in this bowl because I can crawl out and I use it to just kind of keep them in here. And now I'm going to go feed my leopard gecko toast. So he just ate one because he's a good boy, but I didn't get it on camera. So I'm going to try and get the next one on camera. He's currently on number three. He loves them and he's so adorable when he eats them, I can't. Number four, let's see how hungry he is today. I think he's pretty full. Oh, maybe not. All right, I think he's definitely full, and I feel bad because I'm kind of just annoying him, so I'm gonna let him be and put his cage lid back on and put all the survivor mealworms back in their tub or container, and I'll clean up the ones that are in his cage right now later when I handle him, and I'll just uh, find them. They'll all be behind his hide, so it's easy to find because I usually lift his hide up to get him out to handle, which I'm not gonna be filming right now, but he's growing and he's looking beautiful. He just yawned for y'all. And I just wanted to mention before I go show you guys how I gut load his feeders that I will be doing an update on the taming process and how he's doing more specifically in a week or so, so stay tuned for that. So I'm just going to show you guys how I change out the substrate of my doobies and my mealworms. Um, I should have put a bug warning earlier, but bug warning here, there are bugs in this video, so if you are like queasy or don't like bugs, skip to this timestamp that I'll put in when I edit um, so you can skip. So I moved you guys up a bit and I put my workplace on this little bench so it's a nice scenic room. I hope you enjoy. But what I'm basically starting off with is I'm just going to get all the doobie roaches on this 
deep dish bowl and watch them to make sure none of the bigger ones are escaping. But in general, doobie roaches can't climb out of sli uh, slippery surfaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them all out of here. So yeah. Okay, this is the disgusting. I called them cute in the past, but now that I see how many I have, I'm actually disgusted by how big they get and how much they poop and regurgitate the vegetables that they're eating, which is great that they're eating them because you can tell the green stuff. But they also like will release clear stuff on your like fingers when you pick them up and they think they're gonna die. And they're just kind of disgusting, so I, I appreciate it if you want to skip this part of the video. But I got their bin emptied and I just gotta clean up all their little poos and gross green saliva. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, I just put them in their clean Tupperware container. Some of the poo from the bowl fell in because I just kind of dumped them in, but they are socializing and doing their little roach thing, as you can see. Okay, I finally finished dumping out all their old oats, and this is how many I have left right now because I've been feeding them consecutively for days now. Now the mealworms are in a clean container with clean substrate. I'm going to give them some fresh cucumber, some kale that like fell in, but I'm going to pretend it didn't. Now on to my two Bajir Guard parakeets. Sky is the blue one and Kiwi is the green and yellow one. It's a flight cage by the way. I'll stand back to see how big it is. I got their water earlier and I also got Toast's water in the morning. I missed his humid hide and get him fresh water in the morning um, just so he has it all day while I'm gone. So this is their sunburst mix for small birds. I don't have any oats right now so this is all they're getting but they will be fine with that. And I'm sorry if there isn't like actual footage of them eating because they're honestly really scared of this phone today. Okay, so now on to my hamster, Moose. Today he's getting his seed mix and his blocks along with his base veggies. On this specific day, I'm also going to give him a little bit of raw, not raw, just cooked scrambled egg, but plain, that I'm making for him. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how I make his scrambled egg and his base veggies for today. Okay, now I have all of his food. That took me a hot second, but I made him a little bit of scrambled egg, just plain. I got him some hemp seeds, and then he has kale and cucumber, so I'm gonna dish this all out. Okay, so again, I've talked about what I feed my hamsters, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it again. I just feed Moose this Higgins Sunburs Gourmet Blend. He gets two teaspoons of this every other day. I'll give him a little bit more if it's not like the best selection just to make sure he gets like a good amount so there's his seed mix and then it's his Missouri lab blocks and don't worry I don't put this all in his bowl I'm just putting it in his bowl so I can transport it into his cage whether that's too many or too little lab blocks I'll figure it out once I put it in his cage because I do keep most of his lab blocks in his bowl so yeah and I'm also going to give him like one of these freeze-dried mealworms and then two of the live ones because the live ones are just way like better for them and nutritional value. 
And that's actually why I'm starting to feed him live ones, uh, since I already have to get them for my gecko. I'm kind of past being grossed out by bugs. So, yeah, and these are just really good animal protein. They are high in fat though, so just make sure you don't feed too many too often. But if you're feeding like a few every other day when you feed them, you're fine. Now I'm going to show you all how to prep some mealworms um, that are live for your hamster. So first I'm just going to choose a couple, but I have some scissors here and I'm going to use the lid and I'm just going to cut their heads off and put their bodies on this lid, which is kind of disgusting so I'm not going to show it. So I'm just going to wait for him to get up later and I'm just going to leave his food in here but make sure he doesn't get up and eat it all without filming it because that's kind of the point of the video. But I'm going to put these mealworms with his eggs and stuff so that he can't chew on the lid because I don't know where the lid's been. Which is why I'm going to wipe down where it is right now on his chamber hide. But his stuff is all ready for him whenever he gets up so it'll be a few seconds for you. But it'll probably be hours for me because he's fast asleep. I checked on him and I'm not going to wake him up because that's horrible to do to your hamster. And I'm going to wait till like 8 or later. So yeah. So now I'm going to feed my family dog Reina. She's like 12 years old and she's a German Shepherd, but she's really like old. So she has lots of supplements and things for her joints. So I'm just going to show you what I feed her, but usually my mom's the one feeding her, but I'm just going to feed her today because she's technically one of my pets as well. This is the beautiful lady. She has lots of yoga mats on her like hardwood floor because her back legs and joints are just so bad that she needs a little extra traction because she slips and slides. And I'm sure she's pretty hungry, so let's go get her food. Okay, so for Raina, she gets a bunch of different things. My mom helped me out and just, like, uh, cut up how much chicken and rice she gets. But basically, her diet is kind of bland because she's so old. She has, like, a lot of digestion issues sometimes. And we just want to be careful with what food that irritates her joints and her allergies and stuff. So, yeah. So, first, she gets, um, like, almost a full scoop of pebble type stuff. But this is, like expensive dog food just for like her specific requirements and needs um so about like that i'm gonna give her a little bit more because that wasn't exactly the amount she needs so that's that and as soon as i put it in the bowl i do pour some warm water on it to start softening up the kibble because that's what you're supposed to do with all dog kibble it's not supposed to be this hard So after I pour water on it, you usually have to pour out most of it until it's not like floating in the water. So I'm going to do that off camera real quick. Rena's waiting patiently. Hi Rena, you want some? Okay, so here's her kibble. What's this? She wants it so bad. Okay, so then I add chicken. This is just some pre-cut chicken. This is her favorite. She really wants it. Um, so I'm going to put that in the bowl. Hi Rena. <laughs> okay. So there's her chicken, it's her favorite, so she doesn't get a lot of it, and I'll mix it all in better. And then she gets a ton of rice, because it's for um, uh, things I'm not going to talk about, but digestion. Digestion, I can't say it. So now she's getting rice, she's really hungry. <laughs> so she gets lots of rice, and I'm going to mix it all up um, in a second. So there's her rice and her chicken, and then she gets two Dossequins, which are like um, a joint health supplement, as you can see, that we ordered off of Amazon, and she's going to get two of these. these. She loves the flavor of these. She begs for these all the time, and they're really good to her, because she doesn't really get that many treats anymore, so I'm going to mix this all up, and I'll be right back. Right, Raina? So I mix in, I'm sorry if this is like gross, but I mix in the one Dossequin in the food, so she has to work for it, and then I'm going to give this one as a treat. You want this? Gentle. Good girl. She doesn't really have all of her teeth left anymore. She has like a few, but that's besides the point. I'm gonna go put this in her little like holder for her food. All right, and now she's gonna get, wait. But at this point, she just gets it. She doesn't have to wait. Is that good? 
She's really hungry and she really likes it when I make her food. I feel like she's always like, ooh, gourmet. Anyway, she makes a big mess, but honestly, who cares? Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun filming it. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment down below. And if you want to, you can like the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.